Hi, welcome back to Nimble Roots Gardening Tips with Lauren. Today I will be talking about a few things that you can do inside while it's raining outside if you don't feel like going out in the garden. The first thing that I'm going to show you will require a few supplies. That includes a clementine or orange peels. Make sure that you take the flesh out and allow it to be somewhat cut in half. You will also need toothpicks, bird seed, scissors, and yarn or twine, something to hold it up on a tree. Now that you know the supplies that you need, you're gonna go ahead and start creating your little bird feeder. So I've gone ahead, you can kind of do this in a few different ways. If you have long enough toothpicks or skewers, you can place them completely through across like this and you'll only need two to do that. Well, since my toothpicks are a little too short, I'm gonna go ahead, poke it through the side here and then push it down so that it comes out through the bottom. As you can see, they're coming out through the bottom. You wanna go ahead and do four of these, poke it through the side and then poke it through the bottom. Next, you're going to take some twine or yarn and you'll cut kind of a long piece because you want this to hang down from the tree. You'll wanna do four of these long pieces. As you can see, I've gone ahead and attached each of these to the toothpicks. You just wanna do a double knot along the toothpick so that it's able to stay. You're gonna gather them all at the top, make them as long as you want or as long as your shortest piece, and then go ahead and just simply tie them. And you'll wanna do two knots just to make sure that it's nice and secure. And then do another knot. Okay, so now you have this hanging. It's fairly even. I don't think that the bird seed's going to fall out. So now you just wanna go ahead and fill it with bird seed. And then you can place it outside on whatever tree you want or along with your other bird feeders and see how the birds like it. And this is your completed look for your bird seed hanger made from a clementine or an orange, some toothpicks, and some yarn. A few other options that you have to do on a rainy day include canning some of the vegetables that you have saved and that you have harvested over time. You can also go ahead and plan out your garden for next year. So what you wanna do with this is grab a notebook and go ahead, write out what you've planted, when you've planted it, and if it's successfully growing in your garden. If not, you can think about some things that you would wanna change in the next year. You can also go ahead and kind of draw out a, a, like a landscape of what your garden currently looks like. And if you're wanting to redo parts of it, then go ahead and make a second drawing of the redone parts. And that way, you know how to plan for your garden next year. My last two ideas include reading up on some garden things that you've been curious about and you've always wanted to learn how to do or you've always had questions about, especially during this quarantine. It is the perfect time to research things that you have not had time to research before. And finally, organizing your seeds. This can be kind of challenging, making sure that you're keeping your seeds good each year. Um, a few ways that you can do that is either stapling down the seed packet to make sure that no air is getting to it. Another great tip is to go ahead and use um, those plastic baseball card holders or some sort of photo album that has little spaces that you can slip seed packets in and slip them in there. You can organize it by month that you plant them, the type of plant, um, if it's a flower, anything like that, the best way to organize it for yourself. Thank you for watching my video on things to do on a rainy day inside.